Kentucky State Police is preparing for their annual Trooper Island camp and registration is open now. The camp itself is made possible solely through fundraisers such as selling vehicle raffle tickets and cover the cruiser. Public Affairs Officer Michael Coleman tells us more about their summer plans. Yeah, so our uh, 2024 camp season's coming up. Uh, this year, Post 9 will be going to Trooper Island uh, from June 10th to June 14th. Uh, Trooper Island is just a great experience for the kids. It's a great experience for us. Uh, we take anywhere between 16 to 20 uh, girls and 16 to 20 boys down to Trooper Island every year, uh, at which point they get to go down. They can fish, canoe, swim. There's a bunch of different uh, team building activities that they do throughout the week. At Audiology Associates of Prestonsburg, you can live your life the way you want and find the freedom of better hearing. With 40 years of being in the hearing care industry, you'll experience patient care that is specific to you with exceptional follow-up care that ensures your hearing and balance needs are being met. Audiology Associates at 1428 North Lake Drive in Prestonsburg. The camp is income-based, meaning there are limited available spots for campers. Applications are available at trooperisland.org. We aim for kids that may not be able to go to a, another camp or may not be able to go on vacation. Uh, so it is an income-based camp, and so you know we take that into consideration as people fill out their applications. But registration is open. They can fill out an application, go online at uh, trooperisland.org and fill out an application, drop it off here at Post 9, or you can stop by here at Post 9 and get a paper copy and fill it out while you're here. The summer camp at Trooper Island is just a great time for them. They get to make friends there from other parts of the county, other parts of their community, and they get to go out and play. We play basketball with them, baseball, whatever, and they're playing and interacting with the troopers that live and work right here in their community. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.